Hey y'all, TMG here, and here is a Twitch integrated throwing system tutorial. First thing you need to do is connect your Twitch, so connections menu, and it uses Rosemary Bot, so you need to connect your Twitch to the bot. Next, we're going to configure the outline to your model. Change the width, height, the X and the Y axes so the outline is lined up on where your model is on your screen. Then a cheeky, ooh, F, ow, not ow, ow, okay, F9, that's our test. Moving right along, next we have all these general settings which you can configure to your heart's content. I leave them as is. I do change the resolution because my second monitor is old and very, <laughs> very small. Okay, so what you're actually here for is for the commands. And as you can see, I have so many. I like to make game specific commands and seasonal ones too. But first things first, we're going to do the plus button to make a new trigger. You're going to name your trigger just for future you <laughs> to stay organized. So testing for YouTube. And you can use channel points is the default, but you can also use bits, subs, give subs, follows, but we want to do a text command. So text command, more options here. I don't know what the difference is between bark and throw Ow. Okay. <laughs> we'll stick with throw. Ow. Okay. <laughs> so you can change it to VIPs, subs, mods, streamers, whatever you want. We'll start with everyone. Or maybe not. I think I got confused. Okay, streamer. So in this case, if you want to make a custom command for a specific user, do streamer and then you're going to whitelist that person's name. Okay, so I do custom commands that they can redeem for 10k channel points and they can choose items in a sound to throw things at me. But we're going to delete that. Okay. So cool down, you can do zero seconds, 60 seconds, whatever you want. And I like to do large amounts of items. So for example, if I die, I have exclamation mark dead and daggers fall on my head because why not? To choose your items, you're going to go to object customization and it tends to select all when you make a new command. So you got to right click, disable all. So for example, we're going to do this fall. You're going to hold down the control key, click all the items, right click, enable selected. You go back and you'll see they're all yellow. So now nothing else is highlighted. So only those fall items will be chosen. Aim customization. You can do normal or range, which does the whole top of the monitor, or you can pick where on your screen where the items fall from. So you can mess around with all of these functions as well. The rain effect makes the item slowly fall down on the screen. To test it out, we're going to assign a hotkey. So press that hotkey button, then choose a key of your choosing. So F12. And if we press F12, it'll show it how they slowly fall down. I don't particularly like that effect. Ah! <laughs> that was another gosh. <laughs> um, you see how I always react to the sound as well. Um, because I am using a static avatar, making a sound to react to the throwing system makes it more immersive for the viewers, but you can do whatever you want. Anyways. Ah! You see what I mean? Okay, that little pink camera on the bottom right corner is how you toggle your overlay to be invisible. All right, we did chat commands. Now we're going to do Twitch channel point redemptions. So if you have any problems when you're testing it, make sure that it's matching exactly, capitalization, punctuation, all of it. Because that's where I had some issues when I first started. So I'm going to change it to everyone since everyone gets channel points. And same thing, you're going to choose your cooldown, your delay, how many items, all that good stuff. 
to get items into the throwing system, you must go to Model Importer, and I tend to upload PNGs right there. You'll right click, import. I get mine from Canva usually, and I download them with a transparent background. But any transparent PNG that you have permission to use, of course, you can use it. Um, I like to keep everything super organized, so right click, new folder, name folder. That's just how I am, but you go get on with your day of sales. So let's import all these items. If you can't see my screen, <laughs> ta-da, they're selected. <laughs> but same thing, you hold shift or control, select your items, okay. Now they're in a folder. We go back to our new trigger that we're making. Ta-da! Now we're going to go to Object Customization. So we're gonna find our folder we made. We're gonna hold Control, click all our items, right click, Enable, Selected. We're gonna use the hotkey to, whoop, ah! <laughs> and they work, hooray! Um, you'll have to go to your specific Twitch page and make sure that you can test it there before you go live but you should be pretty good to go. Um, I also like to do the bits, so I'll do for every bit that's given, there's 10 items, which can get a little excessive, but depending on the size of your community, all those factors, you change it to suit you and your community. I like all the items. It's crazy, it's wild, it's loud. I think it's hilarious. Another thing is you can change the sound so you go to event manager and you can actually upload and choose different sounds for different items so part of my custom command is that i ask the viewer if there's a specific sound they want to play ouch or if they just want the regular bonker hit sound so <laughs> yes so another layer of interaction is up to you and your out imagination. So go crazy, mess around with these settings and enjoy. So I hope this tutorial helped you understand the Twitch integrated throwing system a little bit better. Um, obviously there's so much you can do with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just in my brain that I have to make it sound. Anyways, I hope you liked this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. I love to read your comments and thank you so much for your support. And I will see y'all later. Bye.